Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the manual therapy skill to deliver the mobilization with movement technique to the distal radio ulnar joint. The technique that is going to be described in this particular video is going to help the therapist treat patients who complain of limitation in the pronation and supination movement due to pain or stiffness in the distal radio ulnar joint. So let's get started. So to deliver the technique, the patient is going to remain seated and the therapist is going to stand facing the patient. So let's take the left side as reference. So to treat the left distal radio ulnar joint, the therapist is going to ask the patient to first bend the elbow up to around 110 to 130 degrees. The forearm is going to remain in the mid prone position and the therapist is going to do two things. One is to stabilize the ventral aspect of the distal radius using the fingers of both the hands and the other one is to deliver a glide on the dorsal aspect of the distal ulna from the posterior to anterior direction. So let's look at the technique in a close up view. So the far hand of the therapist is going to wrap around the ventral aspect of the distal radius and the fingers are going to be placed over the distal radius which is going to be overlapped by the fingers of the near hand. Now after stabilizing the distal radius in this manner, the thumb of the near hand is going to be placed over the distal ulna and this is going to be reinforced by the thumb of the far hand. So now here with the fingers we have the stabilization of the radius and with the thumbs we have the opportunity to give a posterior to anterior glide to the distal ulna. So after delivering this glide which should be painless, the patient is going to be asked to actively start producing the supination and pronation movement. And if these movements become painless, then the therapist can next ask the patient to start using the other hand to give over pressure in the end range of pronation and supination. Also please do note that if this technique doesn't work then therapists also have an opportunity to reverse the hand holds. That means that the other hand hold is going to be where we are going to stabilize the distal ulna and we are going to mobilize the distal radius from the posterior to anterior direction and the same process needs to be followed. The dosage of the treatment is going to remain the same as that for the other mobilization with movement technique that is 6 to 10 repetitions and 3 to 5 sets in a single session. So this was all about the distal radio ulnar joint mobilization with movement technique. See you all in our next video till then keep learning keep sharing and stay connected.